I think anybody, even Stevie Wonder could see this shit coming. Okay? Wait. Even Ray Charles could have predicted this bullshit. He could have seen this shit coming too. So if you guys don't know, and I haven't really confirmed, so I'm going off other sources, so I have to point that out. But still, uh, it's being reported. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's being reported that... Can I find it? No, I can't find it. Okay, great. I'm an idiot. Okay. What's that? It's being reported that the City Girls man... Their new album is on pace to sell between six and 8,000 units first week. Chad, if you don't know the metric on that, I contacted RIAA personally today. And I had to run it by a few executives. They passed the phone. They were, they were, they were playing phone tag. They passed me to one guy, then to another guy. And I talked to almost the head of the RIAA. If you don't know who that is, that's the organization that actually certifies albums. So if your favorite album by your favorite rappers, Diamond, they do it. Platinum, they do it. Gold, they do it. <sighs> they told me this shit went 15 times plastic. This shit was ridiculous. This shit was ridiculous. They said, Ack, this is the first triple plastic certification we given out. He said the last time they dropped the record, it went double styrofoam. But now we got to go to plastic. <laughs> they said basically it's like a fast food order. Yo, pay, pay by a plastic. Yeah, listen. These two are down horrendous. Now I'm going to be honest with y'all. I've been told y'all. I've, I've, the City Girls wave has fizzled out musically with all due respect to them. I, and, and I don't think they care that much. So I'm not trying to clown them. Or new, I'm just speaking objectively on the numbers. Their career lies in their social media personalities. By the way, I think JT's a hell of a rapper. But I don't think that their commitment to making music, I don't think that they're focused, I don't think that, you know, um, their ability to really hang in there as the seasons changes and still be a top rap group or even rapper themselves um, is an actual thing. Also, I do believe that what happens to many female rappers is that they get tied up into either this relationship clout culture or they start looking at the the interest that their name or their tweets or their in, un, uh, Instagram lives generate. And they start thinking, well, I'm good off of this. You know what I mean? They get complacent, right? They are going to get booked for hostings and all this type of stuff. So they're going to have money. But if we're talking about the music, it's very few women that are in the game still that still care about the music. It's all about shenanigans. It's all about who's doing whose hair Oh, I'm hanging out with this designer. Like, it, they do everything but rap. Like, let, let's be honest, right? Like, Carisha at this point, is this Carisha? I don't even know. Like, Jesus. Anyway, these days, you know, um, they make more headlines for other things. And, yeah, they probably definitely still are getting paid. So I'm not trying to say they're going broke. But I think we could probably put a bow on it. Will they get a song in the foreseeable future? I think they could. They might catch a one-off. But they're officially Coleray category. And I'm not saying that to disrespect them or disrespect Coleray, but the music isn't the reason why people really care about them anymore. Okay, which I think Coleray is in a better position than them because at least with Coleray, Coleray is, is more of a singles artist to me. To me, I knew the City Girls were in trouble when their biggest song that was written by Yachty was called Act Up, and they get with Diddy and do a song called Act Bad. Also, the album title, Raw. It's, it's an acronym that stands for Real Ass Whores. Now, another thing about the City Girl movement that has made this fizzle out is that these days, people really yearn for realness. And that City Girl's movement has been has been pointed out as just non congruent time and time again. The lifestyle they sing about, the lifestyle they rap, they don't they don't live. Carisha is Diddy side chick, and then you have JT who's happily in love with Uzi, which I'm glad. But the stuff they're singing in their music, they're no better than little Tekka saying two twin Glocks turning into a dancer. Okay, 
It's the reason why the Sexy Reds are winning now, okay? It's the reason why these newer artists seem to be uh, uh, excelling more. First of all, the shtick of what they do. And by the way, you know, it's kind of interesting. You remember, oh, this is a city girl summer and a hot girl summer. We get to find out it really was just a summer. That's the saddest part about it. And it, it, this is just a reminder that when, you know, you're playing the movement or you're playing the career, you got to think beyond a few months because the hot girl, city girl summer literally was just that. It's a fucking cold winter now, huh? It's a cold goddamn winter, okay? So again, this, um, they're probably just putting out music just to like, you know, deal with their contracts. I don't think P's priorities them anymore. Their wave has kind of came and gone, but I do think there's, they're, they're going to be fantastic social media personalities. Didn't BT just give an award to uh, uh, Carisha? Yeah, she, she'll have her talk show. That'll do good. I'm pretty sure. What does JT do now? Fashion? What does she do? I don't know. Whatever she does, I'm pretty sure she'll do good there. But I think these two, and I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to give a little controversial take. Y'all might not like this. JT, you're clearly the talented one of the two. If I'm you, I jump ship now. Okay? You got to do the sway lead. Out of there. Peace. Two fingers. I'm out. Okay? <laughs> Let her go host her talk show and follow Diddy around on, on the island. Okay? Get out of there. Two fingers. Get out of there. You got a good voice. I don't know if you write your music yourself. That might be a question. By the way, I think the writing has decreased. Like, the, the, the potency and hits is decreased since y'all was working with Yachty. By the way, I don't know what, what happened there, but y'all might want to apologize to Yachty because Yachty been on the Drake train. Y'all need to get him back over here. I'm going to keep it a bean with y'all. But JT, you got to get out of there. Okay? This is where you got to hit him with the... <laughs> the sway, <laughs> yo. <laughs> they'll be like, yo, yo. When the next, when the next group album coming? My album dropping next week. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. You gotta get on out of here, man. Okay. Uh, listen. Obviously, they're gonna take. I'm pretty sure if they see this, they're gonna take it as hate. I'm not hating. I'm being honest about if y'all do care about the music. I think you should focus on the music a little bit more. Your social media status, y'all are very popular. And again, I'm, I'm trying to be very unbiased. Y'all are very popular. Y'all have a huge social media following. Here's where y'all are fucking up, okay? Let's compare y'all to Cardi B because Cardi B is equally, actually way more popular on social media, but y'all are popular too. The thing is, and I, I'm, I'm not even going to get at writers and whoever who's helping these people make these, these, these songs. Cardi raps better than y'all. So I don't know if it's a writer or not a writer, but maybe I should get a better writer. Cardi somehow has still figured out a way to keep the, the, the attention not only on her, her life, but also her music. The music is now elevator noise for the city girls. I think perhaps, and this is going to sound like hate. This is not hate though. Maybe also pivoted. If we're telling you and again, I know y'all might be like, yo, yo, you know, you know their favorite thing to discredit me? Yo, why is the nigga in women business? I'm talking music here. I'm not really, I'm not attacking y'all personal lives. I'm really just talking music. That city girl wave is over. The newer girls are doing it better. And what I mean by doing it better, right now is rattle, <laughs> ratchet, ghetto bitch culture right now. And y'all ain't fitting the bill no more. <laughs> y'all ain't provocative enough. Y'all ain't out there enough. Y'all don't look, y'all don't look like, this is the era of the chick from the block looking like she's popping. Y'all just not that anymore. It's time to pivot. And if you're an artist, everybody has to pivot. Lil Yachty, a person who worked with y'all before, he had to pivot several times. Because in this music game and in entertainment, you're always gonna have a wave and then it passes you. And unfortunately, I don't think y'all rap enough uh, yeah, I rap well enough to uh, maintain it. That's the difference between y'all and Meg. I think Meg's going to come back and smash it. She raps better than both y'all. Come on. So she's going to, her little hot girl thing, she's still going to be able to package it right, even though she, I do think her new album has to have a message. But this city girl way, fuck a nigga for a bag, fuck a scammer, fucking on a scamming ass, rich ass nigga. Those lyrics are tame compared to what we're hearing now from these girls. We're hearing about the color of their booty holes. We're hearing about how they love, you know, they're the raw dog queen. We're hearing about the, their favorite flavor of STD, okay? Y'all ain't that no more. I'm sorry. Like, listen, yeah, yeah, I thought y'all was wild until we got the new version of wild, okay? Again, I don't think y'all can compete, but I do think y'all can pivot. That's if y'all care about the music. To be honest, if I'm y'all, I think y'all rich without music. Why the fuck would y'all care? 
Now, I do think P has some incentive to care because this is a female era, right? And I know P's going to care. By the way, salute to Lakia, she's on QC as well. This is a female era. And in the female era, I've given the city girls credit. Like, I'm, I'm not giving it to Cardi B. I give it to city girls of creating more than a two-horse race and having women pop up all over the place with these new provocative songs, right? Like, Act Up was... Like one of those, oh shit, came from kind of two reasonably unknown girls. But in the female era, I don't know how two of the girls who I th I, I thought helped kick the door in to let other females in, they have now regressed to being social media personalities. So, you know, I, I'm not that surprised with that. Uh, you can't name me the last City Girls hit. You can't name, you could probably name everything about Carisha on social media. You can't name one thing she said in music. And, and I'm not trying to disrespect I don't think it's her focus either. So, JT, my advice to you, hit the road, okay? It's time for you to go solo, all right? Go solo. You're, you're a good rapper. You can make some good songs. You can still collaborate with her. But if that number up there, 6K to 8K, and by the way, I know the label. This is what labels do. This is why I don't report this yet. I was going to report this, but I need to get a, I didn't get the confirmation that I needed to get to report it because no label is going to let two artists that of their stature sell 8,000. They're going to buy like 10 or 15. So they're probably going to come in right under 20. You get what I mean? No, trust me, no labels making this. This will never be a number that's coming out for them. You get what I mean? Um, or they're going to try to do, like, put like this, whatever number you see on the billboard for City Girls next week, cut it in half. That's the label who did the other half, facts. Because these numbers will look good. That's capital like, yo, fuck. Everybody take your credit cards out right now. <laughs> They're in a meeting right now, Capital. Everybody take their credit cards out. Let's all go to iTunes. Let's buy it. Yeah, exactly. So, again, unfortunately, these two gain more attention when they're talking. And, 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 you know, I don't want to be long-winded on this, but I just want to explain the dynamic. These two are city girls who were preaching a motto of you know, sexual independence and sexual freedom from women and, oh, let's do what we want. Let's, this is our time. Let's, let's get over on these niggas. And these days, the only time they make the news is usually their dependence on a nigga, i.e. Carisha and Diddy, or their relationship with a nigga, which is goes anti what they're selling in their music. I think women have to listen to them to realize, yeah, they ain't saying, they ain't saying a motherfucking thing. And I've moved on to the new chicks, man. Right now, ankle mon monitor music is popping. And salute to uh, Sexy Red. She is the uh, queen of that, at least currently. And by the way, even the Sexy Red thing, we're gonna. I think we're going to have a conversation about Sexy Red. Clip this. Facts. I say March. In March, you're going to be like, what happened? These things are coming and going really quick. You know why? They're, we're, we're keep seeing and hearing shock factor shit. There's not much substance. We're hearing shock factor. What? She said she got what STD? What? She said, wait. She said the booty hole brown and now we got the video. What? She said she's the raw dog. That head turning shock factor shit does not last too long. You notice all of these people, they're kind of singles artists. We don't want to hear a full project from them. Shock factor music. Somebody said because she's pregnant. Oh, well, actually, the pregnancy might help her, to be honest. I think the pregnancy was going to help her. Lil Richie, one, two, three. Thank you. You said talk about a new uh, Rap Radar interview? I will. But, yes, City Girls, I'm going to pray for y'all, man. Hopefully, I didn't take that as hate, but y'all take anything as motherfucking hate. Rap Radar interview for...